Hi. Hi. My name's Hope. And my name is Mel, and we're uh, Critter Watch. Yeah. We're looking for turtles today. What kind of turtles? Painted turtles. What kind of painted turtles? Because there's two in Ontario. Midland. Midland. Midland painted turtle. We're at Lake Walton right now, which is on the far west side of the property. So if you're at the edge of Walton, you have to go all the way across the motocross track to the far side. And we have this huge pond here. We're going to show you an aerial shot. But this is a Midland painted turtle heaven. Five fun facts about painted turtles. Number one. Well, they love to be in the sun. They do love to be in the sun. Why? Because it helps get leeches off them. Well, that is one of that's a good reason. Two, Midland painted turtles are diurnal, and that means that they are active only in the day. So at nighttime, they're sleeping like us. <laughs> Three. Three. They like to, they can climb trees. They can. So now let's preface this. They're not climbing like those. They're not climbing a tree up to the top like that. Oh, there we go. I got my pointer in the right direction. But they climb logs to get on into the sun. They do. Four, turtles don't have a free moving tongue, so they have to eat underwater. So they have like a, a sandpaper, really rough thing to grab onto their food. But in order to get that food to move, they have to eat underwater because their tongue does not move like ours does. Five. five. Painted turtles are the only species on Ontario that have red stripes down the side. This is correct. Out of the eight species of turtle native to Ontario, the painted turtle is the only one with the red and dark orange markings wrapped all the way around the outside of the shell. Odds are, if you've seen a turtle basking in the sun in southwestern Ontario, it's been a Midland painted turtle. Let's go see what we can find. Yep. All right, stay tuned. Harper has been my assistant from shore. We've hooked up a turtle cam underwater and on the log here in a super sunny. So we're gonna see what we find. We'll see you in like an hour. Harper and I caught some turtles. Yeah. We're going to show them. they're walking around in the canoe. They are. We got turtles in the canoe. So uh, let's see what we caught. Yeah. Well, painted turtles, how we identify them. Uh, their shell is an olive to brown color. Easiest way to identify the painted turtle is the markings yep. along the side. It looks like someone took a beautiful paintbrush and painted them on there. Great for camouflage along uh, tall grasses and reeds that exist along the edges of ponds and marshes. And how do you know this is a male painted turtle, Harper? Because of the um, long nails, nails first and foremost so the male painted turtles have really long finger front nails to um, help in courting females and then if you look at its shell its shell is pretty flat on the top right here a female has a bit more of a bump on it how i know this one right here the little one the little one is a female because <laughs> there's a little bump on her back yeah so if we hold her like that you can see it's a bit of a dome shape yeah. right harps and I also knew because of her nails are as long as the female. As the male. Males. And then I also knew it's because of the tail. So there's something we look for on the tail that tells us whether or not it's yep. a male or a female. And this one looks like a female. Yep. And this guy right here is definitely a male. Should we let these guys go? Yeah. Okay. If you're helping a turtle cross the road, you should always make sure you put them back where you found them. My mom says you should always wash your hands too with soap. Bye! That's a wrap That's for today. We've got a birthday parade we gotta go take part in. So, what do you wanna say, Herps? Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe.
hit the subscribe button down below. What did you tell me? So that it's gray? Is that what it is? So it's gray. Okay. See you next Bye. week from Critter Watch. Edge Walton.